that is, has been making its rounds on, no on Twitter basketball. recently. <laughs> it's literally somebody who is like, bro, that is not basketball. Yeah. <laughs> That's Michael Jordan did this all the time with the 94 Bulls. <laughs> Michael Jordan did not have death rays coming out of his hands. It's yeah. called a fadeaway jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. Well, let's fade into winner's finals here. A classic winner's Definitely. finals. We're back. Grayson versus Austin. How many times have we seen these two deep in bracket? El Clasico. Multiple, multiple times for sure. Um, Austin, it feels good to have him back. Wasn't able to attend the, the first Ultimate Shockwave back, but is here for Ultimate Shockwave 68. Mm -hmm. In the winner's finals, has been playing as hot as you expect him to, which I love to see because Austin is a player who, you know, over Twitter you'll see that maybe he's lost a little bit of confidence going into this. I and think yet. <laughs> he's just a man who is not built for offline competition. For online competition. Correct. Online. That is exactly what I meant to say. Certainly man. built for offline competition. Man's is you built can see for it. offline. Mm. He struggled a couple tournaments back, you know, offline mm -hmm. as well at the first ones that he went to. Yeah. Who missed the PK fire, but he's still able to option select into the aerials afterwards and still pick damage. Man, this is damage output, especially against a big body like Rob, is just unfair. Oh, man. Still connecting these snipes like it's nobody's business. Ooh. Wow, look at the spacing there by Grayson, too, that he was right outside of Austin's threat range, and he knew it. Oh. And the PK fire that saves is a reflector, Austin. sir. Even, yeah, but even then, if Austin had gotten hit by that arm rotor, right, yeah. he would have been dead. And now, yeah. gets the two stock lead. No. No. Oh, Good great. evasion by Grayson. Ooh, careful. That's going to be a kill. No. Across? Yeah, I know. You're right. You're right. Well, we're, we're, uh, we're a heavy boy in, mm -hmm. in Rob. Oh, Ooh, my God, dude, Grayson's disadvantage against that is pretty really solid. nice right now. Even with a big body like Rob with really slow. Oh, he's dead. Oh, right? uh, no, because no, he, he has, has the gyro. gyro in hand. Still, Still conversion, convert. though. Yeah, all right. So you drop punish, gets the tech chase. Or rather, just punish on the missed tech. I will note one thing I've seen from Austin post uh, online era yeah. is uh, a lot more PK fire from him yeah. than than we used to see from him. Almost had the PK Thunder 2 there as well. We did used to see a lot of it, though. I, Oh, certainly a lot, but he's 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 not afraid to spam it as much now, which yeah. is interesting considering that, like you noted, he did already use it a lot. <laughs> yeah. First stock there from Grayson, though. Finally able, that was a really awkward ledge trap scenario in which Austin was just like a little fly that kept coming back, but Grayson finally finished it off. Now he's got to find a way to get around these PK oh. Thunders. Does get one, but no Rob combo. Yeah, that would have been really spooky if he had caught Austin out of the jump, but uh, Austin is one to get aggressive at a disadvantage, and even if that's with a magnet. Ooh, two forwarders has him at the ledge. Now Austin still knows the timing for that gyro okay. all the same. Can Grayson get the ledge trap? Yeah, yes, he can. He's dead. And that was, again, because Austin decided, I'm going to press in disadvantage an aerial assault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Grayson just waited out of range and threw out the forward smash. Uh oh, oh. OK, so he's off stage, yeah. but still living. And now that Rob combo is more or less off the board. Again, jumps into the gyro because he wants to swing an aerial, or psi magnet in this case. But it's Ooh. you know basically a special aerial. Mm -hmm. Does end up getting that backer, catching the jump from ledge out of Grayson to avoid any ledge trap silliness. Oh, and instead, you know, let Traps himself play with that one. Mm -hmm. um, but that is a situation where Austin was up three stocks to one. Grayson brought all the way back to the last stock. Mm -hmm. Definitely doable for a character like Ron. I, it was it was good recognition there by Austin too to see that like Grayson had a really good idea and that getting aggressive against Austin when he was on that last stock was working out really well. He was able to create a lot of space just by not letting Austin set up a ton of projectiles. But in the end, again. Last adaptation wins, and Austin noticed that, so he drifted forward himself so that he could get behind Grayson with that back air and take that game. And now game two, we're going to Smashville. Here we go. Get, sets the Rob on fire, seeing at the little aerial action. And I do actually like the, the self-eject. <laughs> <laughs> there, get down from the Rob, who's going to not be able to make it all the way over there quickly. Ooh, excellent parry there from Grayson. Or tilts a little bit telegraphed right there, and he wants that gyro so bad to set up no for job. him. He's oh my dead. goodness. He's super yeah, dead. wow. That is masterful by Grayson. That was sick. As soon as you snipe that nest jump, you've got to be. Oh! oh! Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Ultimate TMW. Shockwave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an exclamation point, Austin, in the chat? Mm -hmm. Welcome back to DFW, Grayson. It's good to have you all back. Is that the first one of the night? Surely not. 
I don't know. It's the first one I've uh, seen first tonight. One I've seen the I... second one he I've is, seen tonight because he, he hit dead, me with dead? it in bracket. No, he had his jump. Ooh. And I think that Grayson may have thought that he took that jump, so. Yeah, I, did, I definitely expected such a thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big Grand down smash. Cover the whole. Oh, how did he get around it? The fair's still coming through. The fair's still coming through. He has his double jump? It doesn't matter. Great edge guard by Grayson, <laughs> though. I, this is one of those things I was talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. That when you see Grayson, you don't need the results to tell you that he's good. The gameplay Correct. speaks for itself, and he's just become so efficient that he just does not drop anything that is available to him. Oh! <laughs> yeah. that, that is such a spooky move. He's dead. No. Right. He, I, has, I, he, has, he has two double jumps, remember? Right. That? I thought he was going to get down tilted out of the air. Whoa! <laughs> Sucked it back in! And that big delay by Austin right there does buy himself back onto the ledge, back onto the stage ultimately, but 60%, man. This is another one of those edge guard scenarios that Grayson yeah, just doesn't drop. Just perfect down height there. block. Said, I will happily take this thunder hit if you just, if you just die. Die. No. die. Trade offer. I receive like 10% damage <laughs> and getting hit by uh, you receive the thunder. You receive die. die. <laughs> you will be the greatest and die. Yeah. So your face will be electrified. I, I definitely think the uh, and I will die. The pick on Smashville is pretty solid. You, you force Austin into more situations where uh, the aerials are less savory. Mm -hmm. Is the approach the PK fire is a little bit harder to connect. Banger track, by the way. What is it? Light plane. Mm. Very good song. What is it from? Uh. Uh, what's it called? The the plane one. Okay. Pilot wings. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Grayson is piloting this game. Yeah. Speaking of bangers, first, first uh, he is banging stock. on all cylinders. Wow. Twenty seconds to that first stock. He's speedy. Ooh. Great job using Man. the laser to avoid pressure. We need to give Grayson a lot of appreciation for how quickly he took that stock. And not only that, how much of the oh. previous games he took into taking that stock, he's barely got any juice left, and Austin knows it. Yeah, Austin is swinging. Oh, big. don't go off stage! <laughs> no, he, he knew the air dodge was coming, so he was trying to reel it back around. And mm -hmm. I thought Austin was going to just rocket himself off stage, but even then, he's doing a pretty decent job of keeping this game close. Great, Great up here. Right. That was perfect spacing. Oh, but he does go for the get-up attack. Austin stalls just a bit above it. Oh, but it's right back at him with Grayson using the invincibility. Put on some big... Oh! oh. How can I help you, King Robert Rob? Fire, fire. <laughs> I need a monster to fire oh. that there Robert. 50% on Grayson is what Austin was able to pick up before the big wacky up air comes mm -hmm. through. Whew. Jeez. Grayson is on the offense. Just kidding. <laughs> Fire. This is this is how this, this matchup goes, honestly. I, I think at a certain point after game one, these two both just get very aggressive with their gameplay, and it will just be a lot of back and forth slashing at each other, and we go to last stock on game three, which is not going to be the last of this set, by the right. way. Right, this is best of five because it is winner's finals. Uh, I will say games one and two had moments where there were lulls, Game three has just been back and forth smack fests. Mm -hmm. This is a Lollapalooza. Yeah. Game a whack-a-mole. Mm. They take turns being the mole. Oh, right now, Grayson has the hammer in hand. Can he put the hammer down and end this game, though? Down air, sour spot. And Whoa. I think he tried to snipe the PK Thunder with that gyro, too. He did. I don't know how Austin recovered there. Perfect positioning. Thunder is going to be hard to avoid here. Does find it the up air, not getting all the hits, but he's able to chase on the way down. You Great have to know, yeah, Grayson knows he has to recover high because otherwise down smash is ending this game. In hand, dodge. Ooh, he has to recover high again, but eventually Austin, oh, he's gonna find a way around that. So Grayson, he's, his objective right now has to be stay on stage, get this kill. Does Austin, I don't think he does have a jump. Saved wow. it extra far. Oh, he went for Smart. a big. Now but he's now stage. contend with the yo-yo. Oh! Yikes, this is the... Oh. Wow! His last hit is a god before the Nair came down. Not ready for that DI. Flies straight off the uh -uh. top. He was at like what, 175? Something like that, dude. Wow. Tenacious play by Grayson there.
did not give an inch off stage and did not sway from his game plan of being aggressive. You didn't see yep. him just waffling around on stage at any point. He kept his foot on the gas, and that's why he's up 2-1 right now. They just traded who was off stage and who was swinging. Yeah. But either way, one of them was swinging. And now we go back. Small Battlefield again. Dude, if every game on Small Battlefield just ends up being a Lollapalooza like that, I'm fine. I'm fine with running it back. And it, it looks like it's going to be no different. They're both just pressing buttons. Mm -hmm. Well, and the big thing about Small Battlefield is that in this matchup where both characters can cover the platform so well, mm -hmm. there is nowhere to run. Correct. And it's so and it's smaller than FD, if, I, if I'm correct in thinking that. Yeah, it, it might be the same about, right? Either way, the platforms make it feel a lot smaller. So you're in a confined space, and it's, it's sink or swim. <laughs> mm, great roll out of that situation. You know, you don't have time to punish a fairy like that or anything. Uh, but you do have time to get out of the way. That's not going to kill. Mm -mm. It's going to get close. Ooh, Gyro takes the right peek below. at Thunder, but yeah, laggy use of that neutral B. And, you know, Grayson has been catching Austin with those multiple times thus far. Uh, Austin finally Ooh. dipping below. Now Grayson got him with the, the burning oh, hitbox as well, yeah. and yeah, death. Great timing from Grayson. Barely catches that two frame. Oh, oh that's well, so that much move damage. is uh, something. That and moves intelligence I find lacking. Paige McBenedict. <laughs> Where is he? I am almost positive he is in chat. He is probably furious right now. Yes. Absolutely oh. fuming. He was for the spot dodge after the back air. Knows that it's safe. Uh, but Grayson just waited, so he kind of gave Oof. up the punish. Dude, I love Grayson's mix between down tilt into either the four again. Yeah. PK fire. Just getting reflected and honestly not all that bad of a situation for Ness mm -hmm. in that position. Oh, great dodge out of this situation. That's going to be up smash. Not going to kill, but he does have thunder opportunity. Oh, he just waits for the up air. That's going to be great TI. Yeah. Oh, that one right. surely, though. That one surely, though. That was good by Austin there, though, because he always threatens the immediate use of that PK Thunder, and there he jumped into the air, which is usually a precursor for such a thing, and then he was able to wait for Grayson until he was out of resources to stall with, then came back at him with that up air. You can hear that Ryu music dead, going right? crazy in the background as we go into last stock for both players now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grayson wasn't going to be able to drop that one. Always mm -hmm. clean with the execution when he's got the opportunity. Wow, he, I, he barely missed that laser. I need to see the hitbox on that later. Right. <laughs> it does Rob. not match with the visuals. Ooh, Gyro! Oh, the oh Tokyo bird. Drift! Oh my god, he's so dead. He's super dead. Does he have a jump? Gyro he's has got me gone. acting unwise. That was so clean. Starting from the smoothest pivot grab I've ever seen. Sneaking just to the other side, tossing him out, stealing the jump, throwing every little thing that he can at Ness. There's Man. no way he's coming back. Dude, we talk a lot about how Grayson has, like, some of the best fundamentals that you will see out yeah. of a Rob player. But what takes him from being a very solid player into being one of the most dangerous in a region yeah. is that you get stocks like that. Right. At least once a set. He just steals it from him. Yeah. Not, I mean, like, <laughs> not not even with a question in yeah. mind, right? Like You thought you were safe you for start, a moment. You see how he starts a stock, and you're like, oh, it's over. Like, it's by over. the time he gets, like, his third hit. You're like, oh, okay, he's totally in the groove now. You're in the mixer, you're blended up, and now you're a fresh batch of cookies yeah. out of the tournament. Well, in this case, down in the loser's down bracket. Down in the loser's bracket. Yes, yeah, so that was winner's finals. So now Grayson is chilling comfortably in winner's side of grand finals. Austin now is waiting on uh, the victor of a couple of sets that we still have to play out, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got another loser's quarters match, if I'm not mistaken, coming up. Um, it's either mistaken. that or a loser's. No, this might be, is this loser's semis? Stacked up. This would be loser's semis because Cheeks, Cheeks is sitting is, yeah, down. Yeah, Cheeks yep. is in and out. So this is loser's semis. We got one more match before. Uh... What's mm. up? Leonine beating Essence to get here, which is nice. very fascinating because both of these players have been trying to get Ooh. into top eight for a while. I should mention Oryx, last week's champion, uh, was failed by Essence, who is uh, a uh, villager. Yeah, a villager from Burleson. Burleson. Uh, yeah, the Burleson area. Young, oh, really young well. talent. They're really, 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 yeah. really, really talented, um, and have been for a while. Like used to win like all of these like inter high school tournaments yeah. that would be hosted like online and offline all the time. And now, really showing that potential here at these tournaments. But now out after getting into top eight, yep. into fifth place yeah. even. But now really Leonine, solid. who is another person who shoe. I'm sorry. I said really solid. Really solid. Yeah. yeah. 
but not able to make it past Leonine, who we have seen on stream before with the Rosa. Yep. Went down to Austin, but before that had a crazy good showing against it was Yanni. Yanni. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was one of the Steves, and he beat the other Steve. He beat both Yanni and Trey Five today. Yes. Um, Leonine Steve has Slayer. been on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Steve Slayer for sure. And Leonine's another one of those players who I believe is a new gen to Ultimate, or yes. if not, was very late in.